Hey guys, Tony here. This video, I'm here to explain to you why Cristiano Ronaldo, his nine years at La Liga, why he scored a total of 311 goals. It's quite simple. The reason why he laughed or smiled and said that he received no offer outside of Juventus was that it was part of the script for him to join Juventus after all these years. His League goal total for Real Madrid says it all. In addition to his 450 career Real Madrid goals, first, in Gematria, it is the slogan Forza Juventus FC, Fino alla fine, powered straight to Juventus FC until the end. Fino alla fine in Gematria equals 311. That's why Cristiano Ronaldo scored a total of 311 league goals. What I can really take away from that was that Juventus have two Champions League titles and Ronaldo, he was really lacking the league titles at Real Madrid. He was missing that third league title. So there's something going on definitely with the number two and the main slogan for Juventus. But here I'm also going to explain to you why the BBC end up being reunited with each other. In Gematria, it is the Juventus phrase until the end, fino alla fine, that equals 104 and 59. Next year's Champions League final is going to be played at Spain. Spain equals 59 and 23. 23 years without winning the Champions League. Well, here's why I knew Leonardo Bonucci was coming back ever since the rumors came out. Giorgio Chiellini as I said before, he's going to be 34 years old next year. It is Fine. It is and the Italian war that equals 34 Gematria. It is Juventus FC that equals 33 in Pythagorean Gematria. The black and white Freemasonic stripes. Freemasonry, meaning of life in the universe. The balance between good and bad. Fortune, misfortune. This is what the meaning of life is about. This is where knowledge and enlightenment is coming from. That is what Freemasonry is all about. Andrea Bazaghi, he's going to turn 38 years old next year in May, a month before the Champions League final. The oldest member of the BBC. And it is Leonardo Bonucci that is, that is going to be 32 years of age for the Banconeri next year. When you add up the ages of the BBC, the heart and soul of Juventus, which is the defense, which is the back line, which is not allowing opponent to score. Gianlici Buffon was a part of that. He was a sacrifice for Juventus this year, no doubt, at the club was going to bring in the commercial value and to really bring in a big powerful brand which is the Cristiano Ronaldo brand you literally buy a complete package when you bring in the whole Cristiano Ronaldo brand to Juventus Football Club Kalini's 34 years old Bazaghi's 38 years old and Bonucci's gonna have his 32nd birthday in May all of these ages add up to a total of 104 Years for Bonucci, Bazaghi, and Kalini right before the Champions League final until the end to never give up. Even after losing uh, two Champions League finals, he had the whole incident with Danny Alves, Leonardo Bonucci. He get the chance to get revenge against him. I can totally break that down in a whole separate video. Danny Alves now plays for Paris Saint Germain. And I'm predicting PSG to reach the Champions League final in tribute to Andrea Bazaghi in Gianluigi Buffon's World Cup victory over France in 2006. It is until the end that he goes 104. This is why Bonucci, Bazaghi, and Kellini are reunited together. All their ages before the Champions League final add up to 104. It is... Stadio, the Italian word for stadium, Wanda Metropolitano, that equals 104 as well. So that's why Juventus are going to be playing it. That's why Bonucci's back. 
all of their ages add up to 104. Fino Alla Fine, 104. And that's why Cristiano Ronaldo had 311 league goals with Real Madrid. This slogan here equals 311. Indeed, a lot starting to add up. In Gematria, the practice of coding letters and words into numbers, it is the city of Turin, Torino equals 37. Juventus can have a 3-7 and seven record in the Champions League final with the win. It is the 18-19 club season that adds up to 37. It is Giorgio Chiellini, number three. It is Andrea Bazzaghi. And I assume that Leonardo Bonucci is going to go back to his old number 19. Leonardo Bonucci, number 19. The BBC's numbers add up to 37. The 18, the 19 season, 3 and 7 in the Champions League final after a victory this year. No doubt about it. Bonucci, Bozag, and Gallini's return is going to be significant for the ultimate goal of winning the Champions League. Even without. Gianluigi Buffon and Juventus are still not missing its heart and soul. When you talk about Giorgio Chiellini being a member of Juve since uh, 2005, 25 goals. Ronaldo born on 2-5, the second month, the fifth day of February. The captain of Juventus right now. We have Andrea Bazzaghi, who's played for Juventus since 2011. 20 plus 11 equals 31. It is Madrid that equals 31 in Gematria. I broke that down for uh, Leonardo Bonucci in my video about him. And it is Bonucci that was with Juventus for years, winning Scudettos ever since 2010. Leonardo Bonucci ended up winning six Scudettos. He still has a heavy trof trophy cabinet. He can see his trophy cabinet expand despite missing out on two trophies in his one and only season with AC Milan. But here's an interesting thing, though, about, you know, Cristiano equaling 45. Or the fact that it is Dave Bala that equals 45. Well, there's another longtime veteran on Juventus, born and raised in Turin, Claudio Marchisio. Eight full years since the Italian team last won the Champions League. Interesting that you know, Marchisio has 37 goals in his career with Juve, 33 in the league with Juventus. 32 years old. He's going to be 33 years of age next year, right before Ronaldo's 34th birthday. He was with the club ever since 2005 as well. When you add the BBC's numbers, 37, and Claudio Marchisio's number, well... All that adds up to 45 as well. Debala, Cristiano, 45. And we have Marquisio, Bonucci, Balzaghi, and Kellini's numbers adding up to 45. Debala is going to be a significant figure next year for Juventus. In my opinion, last year was his first really uh, huge breakout season. He wasn't really consistent the two prior years, so I'd expect a lot from Paulo de Bala next year. And until the end, that phrase can apply to the Juventus BBC as well. Forza Bonucci, Balzaghi, E Carini until the end. So I just need all of their first names. I had a 450 reference for Andrea Bazaghi for I think I just need their last names. Fusa Bonici, Fusa Bazagi, Fusa 
Chalini Fido Adafide. I don't think I need the phrase until the end here. I just need all of their first names. Or if the BBC consists of Leonardo Bolucci, Giorgio Chiellini, and Andrea Barzagli. You see right here, Leonardo Bonucci, Giorgio Callini, and Andrea Bozzaghi. When you do English Gematria, notice that the BBC for Juventus, Leonardo Bonucci, Giorgio Callini, and Andrea Bozzaghi, and Gematria equals 450. Well, you look back at Cristiano Ronaldo's goals, it was quite evident that the BBC were going to return together because Ronaldo scored a total of 450 goals for Real Madrid when you, when you include the Champions League, when you include Copa del Rey. 450 total goals for Ronaldo at Real Madrid, 311 league goals. Leonardo Bonucci, Giorgio Gallini, Andrea Bazzaghi equals 450. To me, Ronaldo's 450 goals was evidence that the return of Bonucci, Bazzaghi, and Gallini was in the works for quite some time. Even as far back as January, when you, when you check the description in this video, there were rumors uh, back in January that uh, Bonucci wanted to leave AC Milan as far back as January. Again, Bonucci, Bozzaghi, Calini, and Marquisio's numbers out of the 450, they, they played years for Juventus, the Italianness of Juventus. And it is the date numerology of the Champions League final, June the 1st of 2019, that adds up to 46. Well, June the 1st of 2018, well, the, the exactly a year before the Champions League, people, this has a date numerology of 45. So this is the significance of 45. Next year, the Champions League is going to be played on the date numerology of 46. Cristiano, 45. Debala, 45. I think the last thing that's needed to be checked is the total amount of goals that uh, Bonucci, Bazzaghi, and Kellini have had at Juventus. So, Fine equals 34, Kellini's 34 goals for uh, Juventus, and Andrea Bazzaghi, two goals for Juventus, so that is 36. And Leonardo Bonucci. We have 36, we have 19, so 46 plus 19, that is 55 combined goals for Juventus, for Bonucci, Bazzaghi, and Callini. Well, this all points back to the 55th Champions League, which was won by Inter Milan. The 55th Champions League. Let's see if it refines the search. 55th Champions League was won by Inter Milan. In 2009-2010, the last time the Italian team won. 55 combined goals for Bonucci, Bozzaghi, and Calini. Now, it's about Claudio Marchisio. So, 37... And 55 for this Juventus trio. That is a total of 92. So what is the significance of 92? Very close to lining up with Torino. Now, Bonucci, Bazag, and Kellini, all their ages, all their combined ages would add up to 104 once... Andrea Bazzaghi turns 38 years old. He turns 38 on the eighth day of the fifth month. What's interesting about, you know, the fifth month and the eighth day, 5-8, was that Juventus can be the 13th team 
in Italy to win the Champions League, so that's significant about Barzaghi. 38th birthday. It is the 8th day of the 5th month that can be written out. In other words, the number 85 can be formed. Ronaldo joins Juventus from Real Madrid. Real Madrid equals 85 in Gematria, who I'm predicting Juventus to face off in the final is Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain and Gematria equals 85. But that is the significance of Barzaghi's birthday. It's becoming more evident ever since I found out that all of their three combined ages would add up to 104. Until the end, that phrase has a lot of significance. I've covered it in depth. It's no coincidence that Ronaldo's 311 career goals with uh, Real Madrid in league play. Again, Leonardo Bonucci, Giorgio Canini, and Andrea Bazzaghi, 450 goals for Ronaldo at Real Madrid. Again, part of the plan to have all these three guys back. Plenty of leadership at Juventus. Plenty of youth at Bernadeschi, Cuadrado, whatnot, Douglas Costa, Mansukic, so many attacking options. So that's why Juventus are the favorite, was they had the skill to almost beat Ronaldo last year, and now <laughs> can't beat him. So Pepe, if you're Pepe Mayota, go ahead and take Cristiano, and that may end up being the difference for Juventus and all of its skill. Again, Bayern can't beat Real Madrid or uh, Barcelona, Juventus beat those guys. Barcelona, 2017, they beat Real Madrid in 2015. So yes, of course Juventus are going to win because they've beaten the very best in the past and they've shown that they're the closest in other teams.